And starting very nicely here. One down. Four more to go with one nil in the current standings to Russia. So team boxing Russia have their next chance at putting some uh, scores on the scoreboard at bantamweight 56 kilograms for, for Russia Vladimir Nikitin Poland Sylvester Kozlowski five rounds of, of boxing for the WSB in 56 kilogram division if Sinyuga, добро пожаловать, боец из Польши. Coming to the blue corner from Fala, Sylvester Kozlowski. Fighting out of the blue corner. For the Polish Hussars, Sylvester Kozlowski. Now, Kozlowski comes to this with a bit of a pedigree. So a bit of a pedigree, he's had three losses in the WSB. But he's currently ranked 47. Fights orthodox, but just 20 years of age. And this is the problem that uh, the Hussars have. It's the... Welcome to the fact that uh, all their fighters and the team are very young indeed. And this is going to be, well, an uphill struggle for the young Sylvester Kozlowski. His opponent out of the blue, out of the red corner for Russia, Vladimir Nikitin. Nikitin has a World Series of Boxing record of three and two. Those three wins by way of points. He took silver just recently in Almaty in Kazakhstan at the 2013 World Champions Championships. He's uh, a national youth champion. And, uh, took gold at the Youth Continental Championships, ranked at number 10. 63 centimeters tall, official weight 56 kilos. Его record WSB 3 points, three bouts for the WSB. Является четвертьфиналистом континентального юношеского чемпионата. Continental Youth Championship quarter finals. Дамы и господа. Is Commander Bolshe, ladies and gentlemen, for Fuzzers follow up, Sylvester Kozlowski. Kozlowski got through to the quarterfinals at the 2011 Continental Youth Championships. 23 years old, he stands 168 centimeters tall with official weight 56 kilograms. Победитель национального чемпионата 2012 года. Победитель молодежного чемпионата 2012 года и бронзовый призер чемпионата России 2009, 2010 и 2011. National Championship 2012 winner. Youth National Championship 2012 winner and bronze medalist. 2009, 10, and 11 national championship. Dame Gaspada is Kamandi Rasi from the Russian boxing team, Vladimir Nikitin. So Vladimir Nikitin for Russia. Fighting out of the red corner. Now, this will be a sparky affair. Alan Roos from Norway, our referee. Scheduled for five three-minute rounds to be contested at 56 kilograms phantom weight division. Vladimir Nikitin of Team Boxing Russia. Sylvester Kozlowski. 
for the Hussars of Poland. Just three years difference between these two. But the wealth of experience again between the Poles and the Russians. On paper, well, a hefty golf indeed. So Kozlowski for Poland. Already setting out his stall. He's coming in to hit hard, get under the guard of the Russian. But already he's been told by the referee to keep his guard up. And his head. Vladimir Nikiti took silver in Almaty at the World Championships. Keep your head up. Box! Put in a great performance in Kazakhstan. So off the back of that, he'll come to this psychologically buoyed. Trying to go low under the guard. Sylvester Kozlowski. Well, already Nikitin picking his shots. Just over a minute left in round one. And Vladimir Nikitin in the driving seat. Sylvester Kozlowski with the work to do. Shots. That overhand right from Nikitin and the undercut coming into play. Well, Kozlowski taking shots downwards. Alan Roos telling him to keep his head up. And really, when you've got a boxer that comes in at that height under your guard, there's not an awful lot to do. You've got to keep hitting. Well, Nikitin even saying to the referee that his head's down too low and it's forcing Nikitin to punch to the back of the head which he quite clearly doesn't want to do but um, it's an unfortunate element of the boxing style of the pole so let's just have a look and see how this opened for Team Poland. Well, some great exchanges there. But again, covering up, going down low, forced a lot of the shots from Russian Vladimir Nikitin not to score to the back of the head. But uh, judges have seen overwhelmingly in favour of Vladimir Nikitin. 10-9 across the board from all three judges. So the first round to the Russian boxing team. Two of five. Here in St. Petersburg. Well, again, this exchange between the two starting to become very, very technical indeed. Sylvester Kozlowski can just keep a good position in his stance and not go down under Nikiti. Got a very strong chance here of staying in the tournament. Good body shot from Kozlowski. But Nikitin scoring at will. Very, very sharp indeed. 
Phillips. Closing down the ring, creating all kinds of problems for Kozlowski. Really not giving him room to operate. Big right hand goes across again. It's not enough, and on the break, should be firing shots off as well. Well, head hunting here now, Vladimir Nikitin. Close the ring down and starting to properly work over Sylvester Kozlowski. Good left hook. And the right hand replied by Kozlowski. This is good work from the Russian. And there is just no answer for Sylvester Kozlowski. The overhand right works, but we've only ever seen it a maximum of two or three times around. Vladimir Nikitin. Settling down and absolutely discombobulating Sylvester Kozlowski here. This could well be a 10-8 round in favour of Nikiti, which is a round scored for dominance. It's going to be interesting to see how the judges find that. But um, each judge gives the winner a score of 10 points per round under the must score system and you'll see here well sheer dominance from Nikitin landing his shots cleanly so it's a 10-9 score if it's a close round but 10-8 if there's a clear winner with dominance 10-7 for total dominance. 10-6 if judges deem it's overmatched. Well, 10-9 across the board again. So going into the third, it's a straight run for Vladimir Nikitin. So round three. A marginally low punch from Vladimir Nikitin. Accidental. So Vesta Kozlowski presents a really difficult target here because he keeps trying to come in under the guard. But he's up close and personal now. He's got the work to do. Again, the Russian taking dominance and the poles on the back foot. <laughs> With one win on the scoreboard. <laughs> Polish Hussars need to pull something back here. But this is what all the talk around the campfire is all about. The fact that Team Russia is the dark horse in this competition. Good action here, great uppercut. Next, Team Russia face the r -Land. This really is a tough group. And uh, we're just over a minute left in the third round. We're seeing just that being demonstrated as Vladimir Nikitin exerts utter dominance over Sylvester Kozlowski. Yeah. 
as I said, Kozlowski has had three WSB fights, of which he's lost all of them. So at the end of round three, it looks like no holding. No it's going to be a very, very strong scoring win for the Russian. Just look at him fire off the combinations there. So at the end of the third, which would be a pivotal round for Kozlowski. Very much as if this has all gone in favour of Vladimir Nikitin. Great work from the Russian. Even though he's being forced to go toe to toe, when he gets inside, just fires the shots on. Very linear motion, actually from Nikitin, drives forward, just doesn't give his opponent an inch. So again, across the board, in favour of Vladimir Nikitin of the Russian boxing team, Russia. So going into round four, Holding, holding. Vladimir Nikitin has three rounds out of the five scored in his favour. Sylvester Kozlowski has the toughest of tasks ahead of him. He's going to need something dynamic here to reverse his fortunes. But uh, might be running east looking for a sunset as Vladimir Nikitin settles down to work and really operating superlatively here. He controls Kozlowski so well when Kozlowski comes in under the guard with his head, he just rides on top Nikitin and opens up when he has the opportunity. Well, this is great work on the inside. Short little left there from the pole finds the target. No holding. No holding. Stop. Bit cheeky after the uh, referee had called break. Pin up. Good solid connection there from the uppercut from Nikitin. There's been no let up from Sylvester Kozlowski, although he's been on the receiving end of some scathing shots. Under a minute left in the fourth. Oh, caught beautifully to the body there and caught to the head. He was hurt by that. Nikitin senses this. Left-right combination, right on the target. And the whip of that uppercut that Nikitin just throws in. And Kozlowski really being schooled here. That uppercut from the left hand and the right cross. Well, Nikitin almost running to the task here. Well, we know the scales are tipped in favour of the Russian. A wealth of experience he brings to this. And just look at the replay. 
every shot, lands on the target, nothing wasted. And there was that thunderous left hook to the body, followed it up with the head shots. Not giving Kozlowski any leeway to operate in this ring. It's almost as if Kozlowski is boxing on a foot square of space within that boxing ring. Seconds out, players. Well, the judges score 10-8, 10-8, 10-9. 10-8 being about a round that has dominance and control. And that's how the judges are seeing this now. 10-8 demonstrates a clear winner with dominance. So Nikitin, unless something horrendous happens in this fifth and final round, well, March is on to put another score on the board for the Russian boxing team. So, round five in this 56 kilogram bantamweight category. Vladimir Nikitin of the boxing team Russia takes on Sylvester Kozlowski from the Polish Hussars. Well, he's not in danger of easing off the pressure at all, is he, Vladimir Nikitin? Keeping Sylvester Kozlowski right up to the wire on his toes. No let up at all from the Russian. And, well, the work perfunctory now, it would seem, from the pole. So really being schooled here. And um, such a young team. Difficult to say how they're going to progress in this group. It's a real tough draw. And Nikitin, with under a minute left, working away like a metronome here. Great skills. And just a relentless attitude from Nikitin. He's had no rest in any bout. He's really sucked it up and kept the action constant and fluid. And Judge Alan Roos saying again to the pole that he's got to keep his head up. Alan Roos just cleaning him up a little bit. Okay. there these combinations and an elbow going in and uh, referee saying just watch the back of the head it's difficult for Nikitin but uh, that's it it won't come into question anymore as the bell goes to mark the end of that fifth and final round so I think at this stage the scoring well really a formality but just look at the tail of the tape right up until the wire Vladimir Nikitin piling on that pressure Sylvester Kowalski well an uphill struggle right from the get-go so we knew at the end of the fourth round that uh, all the rounds had gone to Vladimir Nikitin. Interesting that that fourth round proved to be an even better round for the Russian. 
with the two 10-8 scores there. So the formality now of announcing the winner. <clears throat> the referee, Alan Roosh, just waiting for the fighters to join him in the centre of the ring. Well, it was fast and furious throughout. And at Bantamweight, you can uh, understand why. Up to the end of the action, all three judges, one, two, and three, are in agreement scoring the same. 50 44. 50 to 44. Единогласным решением судей. Победу одержал. And your winner by unanimous decision. Latimer. That's how the judges saw the last round. 10-9, 10-9, 50-44 across the board. So, Michael Gallagher of Ireland, 50-44.